Listen, bro, listen. Every single time I go somewhere, EA's like, bro, let's drop the super heat packs so Papa Meeks can't make a pack and play. Let's do it. I recorded a ton of pack and plays before I left for Atlanta in the House of Highlight Showdown, which, by the way, this is the first video I'm recording after that. Wow, I got my cheeks clapped by a girl! I'm just kidding, though. Honestly, that shit can shoot. Holy shit. She definitely deserved the W. Back to this. They dropped Mud Heroes as soon as I got on the plane, bro. But I got it for you now. I'm just sorry that it's a little bit late. I'm just, let's get into it. I'm not going to look through all the players that I could potentially get. I'm just going to open these packs. You get a choice from one of two 87 plus Mutt Hero players one of three, eight in each pack, and then I can open one bundle right now. The topper is a 95 overall fantasy pack, two 91 pluses, and eight of the fantasy packs. And in the training store, there's still the training variety pack, and for 13,000 training, I can get a 91 plus guaranteed. So, overall, it looks like we're gonna get some nasty players. Am I sure I want to buy this bundle? Yes, I'm sure, EA, take my damn money, okay? Take it! I don't think I can do the pack and play series next year. I feel bad giving EA this much money because every episode I'm doing a hundred bucks. But I do think that we have had some crazy fun gameplays and I still love opening packs. So I don't know. I'm juggling being a sellout to EA with how much I hate them. It's a tough battle here. The animation, the animation is so sick. Oh, that's so dope. Okay, so Hmm. So I had the same animation it looked like for both the 87 and the 93. I'm very excited to get the 93. But I'm wondering what the animation might be if I get a 95 or better then. Is that when the animation changes? This is the Mutt Heroes Welcome Pack. So, okay, that animation is the most standard animation you can get for sure. So I'm going to guess that that's anywhere from an 87 to a 93 is going to look like that. And I'm hoping there's something extra heat for the 95. John Johnson, Walter Jones, yucky. All right, so that's gonna be an 87 to 93. 80, 90, and Thomas, same with that one, presumably. Yeah, kind of trash. Those were trash, no lie. This second round is super hot trash. That is ugly. Josh Sweat and Ashton Davis. Both of those are ugly too. I can always quick sell them though and go to the end and try and uh, rip some stuff in that training store. Lance Allworth, trash, absolute trash. That's not, hey, but we are getting a 93 though. We get, Ch is it Chase Roulier? Is that how you say his name, Roulier? And a Philip Lindsay, wait, damn. I bet you this card's fast as hell. Oh, but I can't check EA, <laughs> fix that shit. That's solid. All right, so we got at least one upgrade for the Pack Boy Squad. And this is before we go do any adjustments or the toppers. So, hey, it was that in that Ultimate Legends pack and play. That was when we pulled some insane, insane toppers. I'm going to take the Leroy Butler here, just in case I ever somehow pull him. KJ Hamler, ugly, and that's looking ugly too. Ooh, but damn! Uh, maybe it's just the 97s that have a new animation? That is a 95 left guard on the back and play squad. Dude, you know what I wonder? How the hell do they even make these animations? Like, from a graphic design standpoint, how do you do that? I know that's such a, like, high thought. I'm not high, don't worry. But, like, that's, how do you do that, bro? What do you do that on? Philip Lindsay, and I can technically get a 95 in all these. Derek Watt, he actually will be better than my 90 Mike Allstar. Okay. Holy shit. It all comes down to this. I need a 95 up here. No! I got a duplicate! Oh my god, I got a duplicate 95. Honestly, though, at the end of the day, that's not that bad. Because that is going to be worth a ton of training. So I'll definitely be able to re-roll some of the 91 pluses. Is this our last fantasy pack? Daniel Sorensen and Wayne Gallman again. Okay, so now we're into the topper. There we go. Derek Watt on our first 91 plus. Our second 91 plus is... Hey, Darnell Mooney. I love Darnell Mooney. Actually, 94 speed, and I do need wide receivers. All right, so before I open this 95 overall fantasy pack, let's go look at the team. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm on my Wheel of Mutt team. I'm on the wrong account. I just opened this whole button on the wrong account. Oh, my fucking God. All right, well, I just opened the entire button on the wrong account. We're gonna go through this. And I wanna see what's in this fantasy pack, but then we're gonna hop back to the other one. Apparently, you guys are getting two bundle openings today, so congratulations. Trey Waynes, Nicholas Morrow, Malcolm Butler, Tri Turner, Colicchio. Honestly, some weird, some weird options. I don't know how I feel about these. I think I do like Trey Waynes, though. I'll be honest, I don't know how I made that mistake. Hey, you know what? Maybe I'll just pull absolutely insane heat on the correct account. Okay, this looks a little bit more like my pack and play squad. 
And honestly, left guard Calaccio Assembly is not a very good pull on my pack and play squad because I have 95 Joel Vitonio from last episode. So I'm kind of glad this worked out that way. What would help me though is another wide receiver for sure. I do not like these wide receivers. I can't get rid of Todd Heap, so he's good. Defensively, we could use free safety. We could use another corner. You know what? Team's actually pretty damn good. There's not too much that we we really need. Either way, let's uh let's hop right back in here. All right, boys. This is the real deal. We basically had what you might call a warm up pack, which is not a real thing, and I'm making it up right now. But let's see if we can pull. Even better! <laughs> I thought I almost pulled a good Ultimate Legend. Hey, an 87 in the second round is, is better than a lot of the stuff we were getting before. Daniel Sorensen, and we... Hey, we start out with a 93. Havenstein pace, no. Nothing that I can really use. Ross Black, hey. I'll take it, dude. Anytime I'm getting these 93 overalls, I don't know if they'll go on the team, but it's all about that training and the rerolls, you know? KJ Hamler and A, hey, David Onyemata, 93 overall D Tech. All right, boys, we gotta get at least a 95 here. I pulled two 95s on that last one. We can't let all the luck go to that account. Oh, what the what? What? No, 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 no. This is in the second round. Dude, this is so perfect. I literally need a sick middle linebacker. This is so perfect. Oh my God, KJ, it doesn't even matter really when I get here. Sean Lee, 96 Levante David. Larry Allen, Josh Lambeau. Hey, played again man with him. Gotta go Josh Lambeau here. KJ Hamler and Philip Lindsay. All right, flashback. Bro, I was not. Whoa, what the what? What? Why did this get into a pack? When was this a thing? 95 flashback players? What the when? Oh my god! My second round is saving me, and then my top round is horrible. What is going on, bro? Someone explain this shit to me. We're out to our toppers. We pulled a 95 left tackle and a 96 left David. We pulled no mutt heroes that are good. We have Derek Watt, who we do actually need on this team. Slightly better fullback, I'll take it. And then our next 91 plus is Trash. So now it's the fantasy pack. I have a left tackle now. I have a middle linebacker. I almost want Edelman. One of these corners is probably the best. I can't really decide between Malcolm Butler and Trey Waynes though. They're both man to man. I'm sure they probably have like, they both probably have 94, 95 speed. Uh, heads, Malcolm Butler, tails, Trey Waynes. Alexa, flip a coin. I want heads. Heads. Oh, Oh. Alexa, thank you. I love you. 94 speed, 94 excel, 94. That's really, 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 really solid. All right, so we're going to guess this man out with Acrobat. I think Acrobat is only one AP for man-to-man -man corners. Yup, that's huge. I'll give him universal coverage as well because he's going to get a lot of reps. He'll be getting a lot of interceptions, I would assume, on this team. So Dwayne Brown comes in. We got a, such a good offensive line. This makes my wheel of my offensive line looks like shit. This is kind of an issue, though, because look at this. I don't use a lot of linebackers in my sets. Folia side is so good. I can't take him out. I got to take Neville Hewitt out. So I'll take Neville Hewitt. Oh, Neville Hewitt's probably better than Levante David. God damn. In fact, Neville Hewitt is better than Levante David. He's two speed faster. Malcolm Butler's definitely coming in for Shaquille Griffin. So at all times on the field will be Brian Dawkins, Rodney Harrison, Xavier Howard, Malcolm Butler, Sean Murphy Bunting. That's what I run. Asamuga can come out for Shaquille Griffin, right? Yeah. I like Shaquille Griffin better than Asamuga. All right, so I'm not actually going to put Levante David in there. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to quick sell Levante David, and I'm going to rip some of the rerolls in case we can get something else that we need. So right now we're at 111,000. I'm only going to use what we earned from today's episode, though. So 70K training. I got about 70K training from all that. That's solid. So I got Chase Rolier. They're both 93 overalls. Looks like Chase has more strength, less speed. I feel like the plus seven in strength is gonna be pretty important for a center. So I'm gonna throw Chase in, see if that's any better. And then Derek Watt can come in for all stop. I'm excited about that. Derek Watt's the stud. I have Steve Hutchinson at D-Tackle right now. No, thank you. I'll put David Onyemeta in there. Makes us up to a 94 overall, dude. This team is so fucking stacked. This team is actually stacked and I didn't buy a single player. I have 70K training and then we can hop into this game. I'm just gonna do the 91 plus Mutt Heroes. I don't know if the 97s exist in these, but if they do, I'd love to see that animation. We get Daniel Sorensen, trash. I don't want Daniel Sorensen. Literally anybody else. How about a 93? Actually, a 93 would be cool. George Fan, sweet. We pretty much have to pull like a 93, 95 because most of these aren't going to help us now that I think about it. I don't think these are going to help us. We'd have to get stupid lucky. All right, this is the last one we can open because this takes us right back down to around 111,000. Is it a 95? Nope. It's the dude that I already have. 
In our season for the pack and play squad, we're currently three and oh. Once we make it to the playoffs, we know the team is gonna reset, but you know, we still wanna go to the Super Bowl and win it. But basically, no matter what happens in the Super Bowl, that's when this team goes back to a base team and we can start the pack and play squad all over again. I'm not excited for that, to be honest, because I have a God squad in here and I wanna keep it. 99 Josh Allen, 99 Tyreek Hill, 99 Rod Woodson. 98 Rod. <laughs> Such a weird top three. It really is. Second and five. Ooh, strong close. I'm sending a hot blitz. Ooh, good decision. I got the halfback. Ah, get up there. Oh, Sean Murphy bunting didn't get it, but it's a huge stop because that's fourth and four. We're playing great defense right now. Uh, I'm sending two off the right side. Super sketch. Damn it. You know, I should have covered that because I knew how sketchy that decision was. Bad decision, to say the least. I'm not worried though. We, we got the man to a fourth down on his first drive. That means we can play defense. Our backfield master on DeAndre Swift. Definitely gonna be ripping this man with some angle routes. Nothing more, dude, it's the best. It's the best. All right, no huddle. We're just gonna hit that halfback dive. I'm gonna hit him with strong close most of this game. Todd Heap on the corner route. And then we'll send Chris Hogan over the top. Hopefully this frees up Todd's heaping wiener. Oh, underneath. To Derek Watt! Rogers slings, bro. Great throw. All right, he thinks I'm passing. I've been doing all this passing. We're just gonna hand this off right up the middle to DeAndre Swift for five yards, for five yards, for four yards. Shit! Fourth and two. Ooh, big blitz, and we caught him sleeping. Let's go. Big connection right there. All right, first and 10, does he blitz again? Ooh, damn. They just, oh, DeAndre Swift powered forward. We got five yards on that trash play. All right, second and inches. Oh, Chris Hogan is wide open. Seven to seven, let's go. I said I needed new wide receivers and my new wide receivers are already off to a solid start. All right, I, I'm not sending the house anymore. He absolutely killed me last time I set the house, so I'm not gonna do it again. Ooh, that is a such a sketchy pass. I need Mean Joe Green or Joey Bosa to get on his man here. The halfback is blocking! We get to Josh Allen! He's got a lot of yards to get back. Let's go into our clamps defense. Bo you saw the Lucan's in, Harry Carson is in. Alright, let's see what he's looking for here. Ooh, that post might be open. It's not! It's not! My ball! Rodney Harrison! It was open, but we got to Josh Allen somehow. I didn't send anybody, so I don't know how we got to him. All right, second and two. I'm actually going to block Derek Watt here because he's going to send a blitz. Yup. Oh, no, no, no. That's double covered. Woo. I'm just going to go halfback dive again. I need two yards. we just been eating it up with this play. Let's go. Todd Heap right up the middle. Todd Heap right up the middle is so good. No one ever guards this. No one guards it. Somebody guard that. Oh, my God. I, I do that. I can damn near do it again. Nah, he's gonna sit on it this time. First and 10. Nah, he honestly didn't sit on it, but it doesn't matter because Rodgers whips that shit for a touchdown. Huge. Rage quit. I just got rage quit. I just got a rage quit against that 99 overall. You gotta love that. You gotta love that. Hey, let's get it, boys. 4 0. All right, so we won the game that gives us an additional pack of our choice to open, as well as we got a rage quit. So we have two packs to open. I'm gonna go with two Ultimate Legends fantasy packs. Reason I say that is because we just opened so many My Heroes packs. We might as well switch it up, you know? And I'm still looking for a really solid wide receiver. My wide receivers did play well. I'm very proud of them. But I'll still take, you know, an actual 95 with 95 speed. I wouldn't mind that. And we... You know what's funny? We already have a 91 overall Nandi Asamuga, but they're from different promos. Gonna get 88 right tackle Jonathan Ogden! And we got some rings! What are you... Yeah. If, if I got him and Rodney Harrison, it was an L. Oh my God. I'll do another Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack. Hey, Vita Vey in this pack. You love to see that. Trent Williams, Eric Murray. No rings right there. Travis Frederick. And we get... Uh? Does that say 92 overall quarterback Jonathan Ogden? Am I reading that correctly? His 93 throw bar, 93 deep accuracy? What? Bro, this has better stats than the Matt Stafford that's in the game right now. That's insane. Bro, we have to sub him in. I don't think he'll start any games, but he'll definitely be a backup and ready to play. All right, boys. That is going to be it for today's episode. This was hilarious. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks so much as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.